Hello, students. Let's begin our math session with a prayer. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for your love and care. Thank you for this earth that you created. Help us to know how to take good care of it. Thank you for the blessing of life, Father. We ask that you please be with those who are hurting, or in pain, or in need. Watch over us as we go through this math lesson today. In Jesus' name, amen. As usual, I'll go ahead, welcome you. So glad that we're here at this video lesson. And I'll go ahead and, and pause my video and start sharing the screen. And we're back. Just wanted to remind you that for the seventh, for seventh grade, your Christ-centered learning goal is compassion. And I know you're showing that each and every day whether it's towards me as the instructor or towards each other's students or towards your family members and friends. And you are definitely showing initiative. Each day as you get on the computer to do your online schooling, you're showing initiative if you have questions by emailing your professors or asking friends. You're showing initiative each day, each and every way. Two thumbs up. All right, we will continue looking at solving one-step equations, keeping in mind that there are four properties of equality. Treat it like a balanced scale, and you'll use each of these four properties of equality, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and or division, doing the same thing to each side, to keep the quantities equal. Or you could say it like this, the quantities are equal. And as you, as you think about that, you always want to think about uh, keeping the quantities equal. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> the lighting was a little off. Okay. Today, specifically, we're going to look at strengthening your addition and subtraction skills because we're going to look at solving one-step equations starting with words. Remember, back at the very beginning of the chapter, we were looking at expressions. And it had no equal sign. Well, now we're going to take a statement that has another word in it that will allow us to turn the words into a mathematical statement called an equation. So we're going to take words and transform them to math symbols, coming up with that equation that I mentioned. The words more than means add, less than means subtract is means equals and i fully acknowledge there are many different variations of these words right here that can all can that can be translated to addition subtraction and equals but we're just going to work with these today okay so referring back briefly we started with the idea of an expression and then went to algebraic expression with a phrase like this, four more than a number. And we looked at the different parts. More than, as I've stated above, means plus. A number is what you do not know. The unknown, that's a variable, which we'll represent by a letter, this time the letter X, and we have four. Again, remember back at the beginning of the chapter, I said, let's always start with X. So we're going to put X first and ask what's being done to X for more than X, for more than X. And you had your algebraic expression, which y'all became very adept at changing 
the words into the algebraic expression. Now let's take it to the next level. Notice that I've chosen the same starting phrase, four more than a number. And the new part says is 12. So we know that a number is our unknown, our variable. We know that more than means addition. And then I've just reminded you that is means equal. Starting with our unknown, a number. For more than a number is 12. And we have a mathematical sentence called an equation. It has two equal quantities. And it has this quantity on the left and this quantity on the right. So we have completed the first step. We have translated our statement to an equation. Now you're going to solve this equation by asking yourself what's being done to x. It's being added by 4. So you will do the same thing to each side. You will subtract 4 from each side. 4 minus 4 is 0 or cancels to 0. You copy the x. You copy the equals. 12 minus 4 is 8. Remember, you always want to check. Put it back in the original equation. 8 plus 4, does that equal 12? Yes, it does. So our solution is x equals 8. Now, um, how will you see your answers? You will see two parts to the answer, and both parts need to be verified that they are correct. You're looking to, for the equa correct equation and the correct solution. The translation from the words and the solution to the equation. Okay, All right, I've got a board with a few more problems. Remembering that more than means plus, less than means minus, is means equals. Here we go. Actually, why don't you stop or pause the video and try this one right here. It says $10 more than Fred earned is $52. Pause and try that. Okay, let's see how it turned out. More than means plus. We don't know what Fred earned, so that'll be our variable. Is means equals. So we always want to start with our unknown. X. What's being done to X? $10 more than X. is 52. And when you're translating from dollars to the equation, you don't have to list the dollar signs in the equation. You'll list it in the answer. Okay, to solve this one-step equation, you ask what's being done to x. It's being added by 10. So you subtract 10 from each side. You're doing the same thing to each side keeping the two quantities equal. Plus 10 minus 10 cancels out to zero. You copy x, you copy the equal sign, and you do the operation here. Two minus zero is two, five one minus one is four, x equals 42. Again, in your answer, you're looking for the correct translated equation and the correct solution. x plus 10 equals 52, x equals 42 dollars. Okay. Alright, now look at this one. Keep in mind that 
of the symbols. More than means plus, less than means subtract, and is means equals. I'm going to cover them up. See what you can remember. Here's this problem here. 17 less than a number is 30. And I'll walk through this one with you. Less than means minus or subtraction. A number, we don't know that, so we call it X. And we know what 17 is. Is means equals. Start with your X. X. That's my A number. 17 less than a number. 17 less than this number. So you show it like this. Whatever that number is, 17 less than that is going to be the correct response. Is 30. The first part of my answer is complete. The translated equation. The words have been translated to a mathematical statement called an equation. Now we will solve this one step equation. What's being done to x? x is being subtracted by 17. So I add 17 to each side. Minus 17 plus 17 cancels. Hey, remember they're called exact opposites of each other. It equals zero. Copy the x, copy the equal sign, and do this operation right here. Zero plus seven is seven. Three plus one is four. Check it. 47 minus 17, does that equal 30? Yes, it does. Okay. So, uh, two parts to the end. Oh, yes, I did the check. And then, oops, pardon me. Okay. So then we're going to write the two parts to the response. The translated equation. And x equals 47. Okay. All right, now then. Let's look at this last one. $12 less than Sam earns is $64. Pause the video and try it. Now that you've had a chance to try it, let's see how it works out. Less than means subtraction. Sam earns, we don't know that, so we'll call that x. Is means equals. Starting with x. $12 less than Sam earns. Well, here's what Sam earns. They don't know what it is, but whatever it is, is $12 less than that. Equals 64. So we have our translation, our equation here. So now we're going to solve our one step equation. What's being done to x? It's being subtracted by 12. So the opposite of that is to add 12 to each side. Okay. Line that up a little better. <laughs> Okay, we're doing the same thing to each side, adding 12 to each side. Minus 12 plus 12 cancels out, becomes 0. Then I copy x equals 4 plus 2 is 6. 1 plus 6 is 7. Okay, let's check it out. 76 minus 12, does that equal 64? Yes, it does. So the two parts to your answer are words translated to a mathematical sentence, it's an equation, and the correct value, or the solution. Okay. So, keep in mind, there are two parts to solving these one-step equations. The new or added thing is that you're taking a statement, something like this, Four more than a number is 12. Four more than a number is 12. Four more than a number is 12. 
you're translating it, and then you're solving for the correct solution. Let me go ahead and start sharing my screen. I hope that this has been a beneficial lesson for you, and I look forward to seeing you soon. God bless. Take it one moment at a time, and know that you are loved and made by God. Thank you. Goodbye now.